Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to introduce myself before we got started. My name is Monica and I'm a stay at home mom of four boys. This is my second video and my first video was about their makeover so make sure you check it out. And I just wanted to touch base on why it was a little different. I don't plan to go one direction on this channel. I plan to show all my talents on this channel. I've learned to bake due to uh, two of my kids becoming, a, uh, well, being diagnosed with a dairy allergy. So I've also learned to coupon and hardship and now I do it what because it saves us money but it started out because i needed to i've learned to craft because i like to decorate my house and i don't want to spend the crazy prices at the store and i'm teaching myself how to make over my home because we don't want to pay if we don't have to so if you want to see content learning and growing please like my video subscribe and hit the bell for notification. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. And here we go. So this is an overview of everything you will need to make this wreath. You're gonna need some pipe cleaners, two different colors, two of each of the Dollar Tree mesh, two different styles to each of Dollar Tree ribbon, some hot glue and a hot glue gun. If you don't have a hot glue gun and can't find one, I know the Dollar Tree used to carry them. You can also use E6000 glue. I'm sure that would work just as well. Um, the sign that you would like to use in the middle of your wreath. And looks like, oh, and of course you're gonna need a Dollar Tree wreath ring. Uh, they have three different sizes. They got like a really big one, and then they have a normal size, and then they have like a two pack of the minis. You're going to want that middle size, the normal size one. Um, also, the pipe cleaners, it doesn't really matter which color they are. I'm using what I already had here. You won't see them at the end, but preferably you would want to get the pipe cleaners that match your product. All right, so I'm going to start off by cutting four strips to help me secure this sign to the ring. And then I am going to place the sign where I'd like it at on the ring, flip it over, and start securing it. I'm using the hot glue to go under where the wire meets the sign and gluing it down. Once I get the glue on there, I'm going to use the ribbon to place over top of it to help hold it in place a little bit better. I'm not sure how much help it is, but it's just what I do. I was having a real hard time with this hot glue. It was my first time buying this brand and it must be just a little bit too small for my gun because the trigger wasn't pulling it down. So I had to push it down myself to get the glue to come out. And now it is time to start the cutting process. It is a long process to cut all this up, but trust me, it is worth it in the end. So you're gonna start cutting off the ribbon. I cut it between eight to nine inches long each. I did not measure it. Some were longer, some were shorter. It doesn't need to be perfect. It will look great at the end, I promise. This is where I got the idea. Hmm, if I put the pipe cleaners next to the roll and roll it out, it'd be easier to keep the roll straight and I wouldn't be fighting with it as much that you see here. And 
once you're done cutting all the ribbon, you're going to want to cut the edges. So what you're going to do is fold the ribbon in half, start about an inch from the end on the folded side, and then cut outward to make this little triangle shape. And go ahead and do that for all the ribbon that you just cut. So for this wreath, I did go ahead and just pre-cut everything so that way it was already done. And once I got to actually assembling my wreath, I had everything already ready. But sometimes on like past wreaths, I would get so bored of the cutting. So I would just cut half of it and then start the wreath and then do some more cutting and then get back to the wreath and that kind of kept me more entertained with doing it so you do it whatever best way suits you now we're going to get to cutting the mesh I did the same trick here with the pipe cleaners to keep the mesh kind of straight and a little less like rolling all over the place. This really helped a lot, but you're going to want to cut the mesh in like six to seven inch strips. Once you're done cutting everything up, go ahead and take your pipe cleaners, fold them in half, and then cut them into halves, as you see me doing right here. Once you have all your pipe cleaners clean, you're ready to assemble your mesh. So what you're going to do is roll the mesh up in rolls. You're gonna put two together, one of each color, and then you're gonna use the pipe cleaner to twist it together like I just showed here. And there you go, you see me rolling it. When I twist it together, I typically twist it three times. Wrap the pipe cleaner around it and then twist twist and twist And then I get started on the ribbon the same way. You take two, one of each style, put them together and twist the cleaner on it. And once you're done putting it all together, it is now time to start assembling your wreath. So you're we're going to take the tails of the pipe cleaner and wrap it around the outside two wire bars and then you twist it on there however many times makes you feel good then you're going to take your next one and twist it right next to the first one you did on the bottom two wires i typically go in a pattern of two mesh balls one ribbon two mesh one ribbon and i do that all the way around the corners are a little bit more trickier that is more of whatever you think needs to be if you think you want more ribbon in that corner you put the ribbon if you want more mesh you put the mesh you can't go wrong you really can't now when I put the ribbon on, I do the two mesh balls and then I do the ribbon. I always do the ribbon on the middle bars. And then I start back again. I do the mesh on the two outside bars, the 
in the mesh on the two inside bars and then the ribbon on the middle bars. Also throughout, you'll see me fluffing it up, trying to incorporate the ribbon and the mesh, kind of mixing it up. I don't do it after every set of three. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'll do a couple sets and then I'll go through and fluff it out. This is the corner I'm showing you that I kind of went out of the regular routine of the two mesh and the two ribbon and how I kind of see what I want to do here. Play around with it a little bit. It's a little bit more trickier, but not really, but you just go with the flow. Of course, you can't do the two outside, two inside here. So you just work with what you can and that would be the two outside. And then when you're doing the top, depending on what sign you choose to use, you might not have all four wires exposed that you can use. So you just use the outside rings that you can use and go in the same pattern. Once you've got the mesh and ribbon going all the way around, you can go ahead, look at it, think where can I add more if you want to add more in a certain spot. If it looks to be too much ribbon in one spot, go ahead and add some more mesh because you will have some left over to do that. And then you fluff it all out. And once it's done being flushed, flushed, fluffed, you will have your finished product. There you go, see me fluff it out, fluff, fluff, fluff. And here it is. Show you all the lovely detail. Oh, I love the way this wreath turned out. This wreath really turned out great. I love the colors, everything about it. Honestly, I'm so happy I did this because I almost didn't make me a fall wreath this year. And there's the overview of it. I really did enjoy making this and love how it turned out. I would love to see what creations you guys make. So please leave them in the comments below. And that's it for this video. So thank you for watching. Love all the support. Please, if you'd like to see more videos from me, like subscribe and click the bell for notifications also please enjoy these photos from projects past for more inspiration 
Thank you again. And remember to continue simply living your best life. Bye-bye. See you next time.